Tonight's main news, MPs and peers have returned early to Westminster to pay tribute to Margaret Thatcher, who died on Monday. It's been announced that 700 servicemen and women will take part in the former Prime Minister's ceremonial funeral next Wednesday. Downing Street has said it will not reveal the public cost of the funeral until after the event. Now, it's been said many times in the last few days that Baroness Thatcher changed the face of Britain. But aside from the transformative effect she had on the country as a whole, and not to mention the body politic, thousands of people felt her impact very personally. Over the next few days, we'll be hearing from people whose lives were profoundly influenced by her and her policies, either for better or for worse. Tonight, in the first of our series on how Thatcher changed my life, we hear from a man who was painting bus stops in Essex, but was inspired by the Prime Minister's message of entrepreneurialism to invest £100, which he then turned into a small fortune. Here's Tony Kane telling his story. There are a few people in this world that have affected me. John Lennon would be one of them, and Margaret Thatcher would be another. I left school when I was 15. What I had was a series of jobs, working in factories, working in supermarkets, filling shelves, and I ended up painting bus stops around the town. I was somebody that wanted to achieve. And I can tell you that when you paint bus stops, you are treated as a bus stop painter. And I needed to get out of that. Obviously, this is a period that Margaret Thatcher is Prime Minister. She was always in the background. But with confidence in ourselves... And the more I listened to her... What a nation we could be! I just gradually became more affected and inspired by her philosophy that you can do whatever you want to do regardless of your background. Now, in my case, of course, I had come from this poor council estate background. I had no real education, but she was talking to me. She was telling me, you can do it. I had £100. That's all I had. But I took that out of the bank and I bought some stock. It was silicone sedents. It could have been anything. And that was my first stepping stone to the future. New independence of spirit and Within a year, we're really uh, turning over a reasonable amount, a good amount of business. And I went out and bought, um, which I guess is a, a great... Essex boy car, which was an XR 4x4. Within, uh, I guess, about um, three or four years, we were on to a seven-figure turnover. I then acquired uh, a Ferrari uh, F355. So this is fantastic. I've made it. <laughs> Whilst I like to think that, you know, obviously my own abilities took me to where, from A to B and, and to C, uh, and indeed to D, um, she certainly made a valued contribution to that. She laid the ground for opportunity. There's not many great people at, at any period of time in this world, but she was certainly one of them. Tony Kane's tribute to Baroness Thatcher and parliamentary tributes are still going on. Five hours and counting. I've been thinking about hair as a political statement and oh. um, inevitably you think about Mrs Thatcher and hair. A that lot of was effort a, But that was that a political hair. statement, wasn't it? Well, I think a lot of effort went into it. Big a lot of hair, spray. big power. I know, I know the thing about spray. That's it from all of us on Channel 4 News. That is Channel 4 News. Good evening.